Okay everyone, today I'm going to be pouring concentrated sulfuric acid on toilet paper. Okay, we'll get around 200 mils of sulfuric acid. Now this doesn't look so harmful, does it? Just looks like water. Okay, so first we'll start with a smaller roll and then move to a bigger one. Okay, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> no way. Holy cow. Whoa. <laughs> so now it's just completely turned to pure carbon. So it's just as it's as if it's been burned now. Well, you can just feel the heat coming off of this. This is boiling hot water. Boiling hot sulfuric acid water sludge. All right, so what happened here? This was a crazy reaction. How did this happen with just by pouring acid on it? Well, in order to get this cool reaction, you need sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid reacts like this with almost any carbon containing compound. So in toilet paper, we have a lot of cellulose and the cellulose reacts with the sulfuric acid to form pure carbon and water. So this is similar to burning, but not quite. When we burn something, we produce carbon dioxide and water. But in this case, we didn't produce any carbon dioxide. So all of the carbon actually stayed with it instead of being lost to the atmosphere. So that's why there's all this black stuff here. This is almost just pure carbon in there mixed with sulfuric acid and water. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you haven't hit the bell button, hit the bell button to be notified when my latest video's out. And go check out theactionlab.com to check out the new subscription box. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.